Hi, I'm Mark from the Microtastry Project. Today I'm going to be doing a practical demonstration with this IMX RT1050 board, including its TFT display. So let's start with a typical scenario. You've been working on your IMX RT project for the last three months, let's say, and it's getting close to completion. First of all, you probably could have done it a lot faster if you'd been using the Microtastry project but it's too late now. Your manager comes to you and says, well, how are we going to do field upgrades? And also, what's the IP protection like? Can people clone our boards? Can people copy the code out of our QSPI flash? This is something which is usually an afterthought in project developments, but the Microtasker project gives you that, and I'll show you how to do it in just five minutes. So what I have here is the MCU Expresso IDE, and I've imported various typical examples from the NXP SDK. Now I'm gonna focus here on the EM wind temperature control uh, reference because that uses the TFD display. I can build this project, and then I can load it to my board. Now once this reference application has loaded, I have a TFT display application, which I can play around with here. Now this particular application runs directly from the QSPI flash. In fact, it's hyper flash on this board, but the principle is the same. So what I'll show you now is how to take this project, make it uploadable with the Microtask bootloader concept, and also how to secure it so that it uses on the fly decryption directly from the hyperflash. Going back to our reference project, I'm gonna open up it, its properties. In its properties, we see its flash location. I'm gonna modify this not to be loaded at the start of the flash, but to be loaded at a specific offset. Although not absolutely necessary, I'm gonna change the flash length to correspond. The second thing that I'm going to do is in the settings. In the post build step, I'm adding this call. It's a call to a bat file called generate.bat, passing the build artifact name. And finally, on my hard drive, in the root directory of this workspace, I'm adding two files. The first is bootheader.txt, and the second is generate.bat, that's the bat file that's going to be called. Bootheader.txt contains some padding, which is going to be required when we do our conversions, so that we have correct alignment for the on-the-fly decryption. Generator.bat controls calls to Microtasker utility programs, which take our output binary file, encrypt and convert into authenticated upload files. So let's see it in operation. I simply rebuild my project. Taking a look at the output directory, we see some new binary files. The binary files of interest are these two here. The XIP bin is an uploadable form. The XIP BEE is an on-the-fly on the decrypted form of the same application. And now we can see them in operation. In the meantime, I've loaded the Microtasker loader onto this board. And now I'm gonna take a terminal emulator and start the operation. And we see that this board now appears as an external hard drive with a name upload uh, disk. We can now take initially the XIP version, we drag and drop it, and we see that we now have the application running again. That means that we can now update applications to this board whenever we want. Let me show you. I'm going to reset the board holding down the um, bootloader button 
and now it shows up again as the external hard drive and now I'm going to delete this file that we uploaded to it. This time I'm going to upload the on-the-fly decrypted version. And again we see that we have the original reference application running. This time, however, it is completely encrypted and it's operating using on-the-fly decryption. So what we've seen is that we can take existing applications which work in XIP mode. We can take the Microtask Bootloader project and within literally five minutes, we can make these applications uploadable, that means field uploadable, and also AES128 encrypted using the on-the-fly decryption engine. Developer had no work to do. The Microtask bootloaders offloaded all of this normal development effort and the bootloader itself automatically controls all of the encryption details for you. That means you don't even need to get involved with programming eFuses. Many thanks for watching this video and good luck with your own applications either based on Microtasker or using the Microtasker bootloader concepts.